great player has to have a drive, an inner drive that no coach can ever give you. There's no great player in the game that didn't work hard and also having the belief in yourself. at the Avondale Hots Football Club at the age of nine. My dad coached. They wore the big V jumper. Worked my way through to 15 years of age where I went to the Western Jets Football Club. Thought I'd spend a few years there, but um, spent one. I kicked 50 goals. So by the age of 16, I'd made my way onto the Essendon Football Club playing list. Arriving at Essendon was so intimidating. The captain was Mark Thompson. The coach was uh, Kevin Sheedy. Running out for my first game was just so surreal. I just thought that uh, these guys were, were heroes uh, and I thought, what am I doing here? Is this for real? Someone pinched me. I was blessed to walk into a club at like Essendon who demanded finals football and demanded success. That was magnificent play by Matthew I think the element that made me successful was I hated being beaten. I had a big fear of failure, but once I crossed the white line, I had a belief in myself that I could beat my opponent. To the square line. I wasn't blessed with that much speed, so I was able to read the ball well. Once I got the ball in my hand, you need to be probably 8 out of 10 if you want to be a good full forward, and I became that um, once I got my routine down pat. I ran out when Jason Dunstall kicked 100 goals. Six years later, I kicked it myself, so it's even hard talking about it now. I had my brothers jumping on top of me. I was seeing school friends that I, I'd never seen for a long time. Individually, it, from a selfish point of view, it was probably the greatest day I ever had. This is the best season we've ever seen. We probably played the most beautiful football that I've ever seen a team play in 2000. Everything went right. We were hard. We were skillful. most important influences on my career, no doubt, uh, was my mum and dad. What I loved about them was they never put any pressure on me. My wife, Lisa, and then having three beautiful children. They were the biggest influences family was. And then Kevin Sheedy. He just made me feel bulletproof, to be honest, as a footballer. Uh, and so I'll always thank Kevin Sheedy for that. I always knew where I came from. Avondale Heights still has pride of place for me up there with the Essendon Football Club. I really value um, the Essendon Football Club and, and all they've done for me, 270 games, 15 years at the club, being able to captain the club and be a Premiership player, um, that's what football's to me. Essendon Football Club was a very special place.